You can do anything! As long as it doesn't violate community standards on Facebook. What's good, people of the interwebs? Welcome back to my channel! My name is Steffi Harner, freelance model and developer here in Tokyo. If you want to see Spark AR filter tutorials and reviews, hit that subscribe button, bruh. In today's episode of my top five, I'm gonna take a moment to celebrate women right now. Here are five female filter creators and their sultry ass filters. Let me gas these girls up right now because they deserve the love. First up, we got Isabel Palumbo of Bitter Mesh. And they got some awesome, awesome animated filters right here. So, you know, growing up, I was one of those kids living in the US in the 90s that refused to watch television if it wasn't Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network or Toonami or Adult Swim. So yeah, I really love these filters because of how animated and video game-esque these are. Like, oh my god, look at your Valentine? That is definitely Zelda inspired. You see that? Oh, what is going on? Okay, let's just, let me just show you what this looks like. This is freaking epic AF. Like, what is going on with my face? Okay, y'all are Naruto fans? Let me show you this filter. Brand spanking new. I just found it on the Spark AR Creators Facebook community. Look at that. Look at that. Fuck good. Kawaii I gotta do this one. That is so good. You see that detail? You see that detail? Look. Oh my god, that's eerie AF. This is more of my life energy. This is like the part of me I like despise and like try to like expel out of my existence, but it's still there. Can't ever separate. But you know what? You know, you gotta just love yourself. Look at my hair. My hair's never looked this good before. The beauty of this filter, right, is just like there's not so much interactivity with it um, other than these 3D objects. But the coloring here, like the cartoon like um, colors, are just so well done. And the way that the light bounces off, it's beautiful. You see, like this, like this lip shine, this like wet, demonic, gooey mask effect. It's freaking creepy and I love it. Oh, and then, okay, little, those little, those little like things on my head. I really like the smoke effect. How do I do that? So beautiful. This is like one of my favorite filters I've ever seen on, on Spark AR. Like amazing. Super well done. You go, bae. All right, Brianna Wick from LA. She makes IG and Snapchat filters. So Brianna Wick here, my girl, she has a lot of different filters, a lot of beauty filters, some trippy filters, but you know, my favorite of hers are these wing filters. See this? Look at these wings, girl. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. I feel like an angel. I never felt so angelic in my life. So the way the way she did this, okay, Brianna Wick. So she is segmenting the body, not just the face, but the body of the user, um, and then I think it, the wings here are a plane. Um, in a layer behind the segmented body. Um, and basically they are attached to the face tracker. So when I move the head, the wings move with it. You see, I'm pretty sure that's how she did it. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna ask you, Brianna, is that how you did it? Tell me, <laughs> tell me. I love this filter, heavenly, but you know what I love more? Oh, fallen. Fallen angel. You know, sometimes when I see filters, like makeup filters, it's a little too overdone. But Brianna, like hers are so like nice. Like it's just like a little bit of touch up where it still feels like it's me, but flawless. Oh, now my face is shiny. Look at that dew. I see you. I see you, fallen angel. 
actually a request request i really like this filter but i would love to change the eye color like if i could turn it off and on with the tap can you do that for me upgrade upgrade this filter special request from steffi harder next up you got mushy maggots so she has like some yeah very simple filters but they're like so well done i'm here to gas you up mushy you see i like this it I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, Mushy. I'm gonna represent Mushy right here, Mushy Maggots. I'm here for you, girl. I love you. Spread the love. So we got face tracker with the point lights. They are not moving. It's just glossing my face. And a little bit of a, like a, uh, it's like a face print. You're definitely a Sanrio fan. You see that? Like, oh, this is really cute, actually. So it's using a face tracker um, and using the 3D position to orbit the head with these Kuromi Sanrio characters. And I'm into it. Point lights are also moving in like the similar direction to give that little gloss on the face. You see, I see that, I see that. I need to make a gloss face filter. All y'all ladies making these gloss face filters, like making my face look dewy AF. Butterfly, oh, whoa, did you make the animation? Whoa, that's really nice. Popcorn. Yo, yeah, it's okay, so Mushy Mag is here. She has a lot of really cool 3D um, AR filters. I was like, where are you getting all these? things they're like I think they're so simple and they're not so interactive but they're just like kind of like elegant <laughs> oh I really like these these are so simple when you make filters it can be a simple filter like this but it's just so beautiful and well done this is the missing part to my outfit, y'all. Every time I blink, you see that? <coughs> Glitter. Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> All right, y'all, here we got Brenda Cardenas. She's a female software developer lead at Facebook. And I met this chica on Clubhouse and she was telling us how one of her filters went viral. And I'm gonna show it to you right now, okay? It's called squared squared and this is back in the day like back in the day before they had the face deformation patch um and so how did you do these things back in the day is you get like the face assets that they can give you on the spark air documentation and you put it into something like blender like a, a 3d software and you warp the face mesh right so she warped this into the squared shape right here and that's not what i look like but it's pretty funny <laughs> okay yo no brow okay oh no <laughs> i do not like this oh no i really should never do this to my brows okay i need to study and change this uh <laughs> Oh, there we go. You know, you know what I love about Spark AR is that you are only limited to the Spark AR and Facebook community guidelines. You can do anything as long as it doesn't violate community standards on Facebook. If you want your eyes to look buggy AF like this, you can do it on AR. If you wanna make it rain, get that female dev money. Work that. Come on, chicas, you're worth it. Make those Sparky R filters. Get that cash money. Woo! <laughs> Last but not least, we got Alice Beckham. Thank you for connecting with me on YouTube. And thank you for accepting my Instagram follow request just in time for this video so I can see your filters. Girl, you are weird. And I mean that in the best way. Like your filters are trippy AF. And let me show you right now. All right, we got displacement. Mm-hmm, there you go. You see this? This is done with a camera texture on a second layer. Um, and I think that top layer is an alpha channel so that the face is see-through. And there is a loop animation that moves the top layer in the circle and it looks like I had way too much at the club and someone definitely spiked my drink 
if you're at the club and you look in the mirror and you see this, call your friends right now. Call your girlfriends right now. This is not, not a good sign. All right, okay, now I'm serious. All right, let's do another one. Oh my God, I'm getting dizzy just looking at this. Like, oh God, whoa. Okay, girl, how did you do this? Really well done. Okay, so I think this is, I think this is multiple layers. Um, and it looks like the opacity of each layer is um, reduced in a way that it just makes this blurring effect. I'm feeling like I want to experiment with with um, these layers and the opacity right now. Like this is a really, really, really dope. Good job, cheeks. All right, alien. Come on, chica. Oh, I really, I don't know if I like this. Uh, it's like my makeup looks great, but like I don't even know who this is. I've seen a couple of, of female Sparky or creators do this, but like at the top of the mask, they stretch it in a way that it looks like horns. I don't know, it's kind of flattering, but I just, it looks, I look like an ant antelope. Down in the dumps, you know. We have, we've all felt like this before. Whew, it's been a tough, tough two weeks. <laughs> who needs sleep? Who needs sleep when you got shit to do? <laughs> All right, there we go. That's five of the 220,000 Spark AR creators, right? Facebook published an article that said over 55% of Spark AR Studio users are female. That is pretty incredible considering that out of on a global scale, only 8% of software engineers are female. 8%! So knowing that there are 55% of Spark AR creators that are women, I'm pretty freaking proud of that. I love how AR has provided this environment where women are welcome to just get into AR development, learn logic, use node programming, and we are closer to balancing gender equality in tech. Like, come on, like, Spark AR is free, y'all. Like, there's no, like, official classes or anything. Everyone who's making Spark AR filters, they're all self-taught. There's no official Spark AR school. You go, ladies. All y'all filter creators, like, self-teaching and doing this thing. Like, that is so inspiring. I'm here to gas you up right now. You gas me up. I'm so inspired to make some filters because I see all of you making these really dope ass filters on Instagram. And I'm like, how did you do that? Let me try to do that too. I'm a new female developer here in Tokyo and sometimes it can be really isolating because there's not a lot of us here. You know, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of us out there in the world. But being part of the community in Spark AR, I feel so welcome and I feel like I'm in a safe place because of how many girls are into this stuff. So. Keep doing it. We need a more diverse body of developers here to accommodate society as a whole, y'all. Right, not just the male parts of them. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you wanna see more Spark AR filter reviews. See you next time. Peace. In today's... <laughs> In today's episode of my top five,